question. Here's the deal. I wanted to get up this morning at 1.32 a.m. and look at data that shows less severity. Not the case. We are still full tilt ahead with a big impact here locally. You keep hearing New Jersey over and over. I want you to just forget about New Jersey. It doesn't matter where the center is going. The most severe weather will be on the side of the storm that moves over Connecticut. I expect that we will have the strongest winds in Connecticut along the shoreline and eastern areas, Long Island and Rhode Island, out of anywhere up and down the East Coast. So that does have me concerned this morning. We have a coastal flood warning for the immediate shoreline. That's up for tomorrow, right on through Tuesday. And the entire state here with a high wind warning. Now this earlier was just the Northwest Hills. This has been expanded down to the immediate shoreline for very strong winds. I think the two highest threats Number one, those of you that had any kind of damage from Irene with coastal flooding, this will go well above where it was for Irene. And number two, those of you in central, northern Connecticut and shoreline, this will likely outdo Irene with the amount of tree damage. Pretty darn confident about it. I don't like to look at that kind of data, and I'm certainly not here to scare you, but I want you to take this seriously. So many of you yesterday stopping me in the stores, talking to me on the phone. Hey, I hear this thing is all about New Jersey. Not the case. The most severe conditions out of anywhere up and down the East Coast will very likely end up around Long Island Sound into Connecticut, Rhode Island, and Southeast Massachusetts. Still a hurricane, 75 gusting to 92. And keep in mind, this will likely strengthen now as it moves north. All of the computer models agree that the pressure will drop in this thing and it will continue to strengthen. We'll bring it in a little closer here. And I'll show you the time at the top of the screen. This is 2 a.m. tomorrow morning. Tropical storm force winds already kissing the Connecticut shoreline. Look how wide this thing is, folks, at least 1,000 miles wide. And then as we advance, sure, I've been telling you all week about this kind of question mark track, meaning north, out, and then back in, just like you would see a question mark. We're still confident with that. The problem is, folks, the strongest winds will be to the right side of the track. Look where Connecticut is on the right side of the track. If there's any positive here, it's two things. Number one, a lot of the leaves have come off the trees, at least for central and northern Connecticut. I know you shoreline folks still have a lot of leaves on. And number two, positive-wise, heaviest rain looks to be in New Jersey, PA, maybe southern New York State, all the way down to D.C. So I'm not really expecting much as far as flooding from rain. It's that coastal surge and the amount of wind that we are going to have. You heard the governor say in our opening there on tape, 1938, and that's the kind of wind I think we're looking at with this thing. And the strongest will be later tomorrow. I would say any time in your talk today to your friends and family, Lunchtime Monday through breakfast on Tuesday. Winds outside now already starting to pick up 20 to 21 miles per hour. And again, this thing is huge and still has quite a distance to go. So again, this is a long duration deal here with the worst from noon Monday till 8 a.m. Tuesday. And as far as what we're looking at with winds, I expect now 90 mile per hour gusts and the strongest will be the shoreline Eastern Connecticut, Northwest Hills gusting about 65 to 70 miles per hour. So statewide, this is a huge deal. And I'm going to leave you with this before we get over to Sam Cantro. Uh, the tide levels will be higher than Irene by two to four feet above that Irene level. That is serious, serious business. Let's check in with Sam because Sam, of course, oh, there you are. Yep. Uh, high tide times are important yes. starting tonight through tomorrow. And, of course, you'll let everyone know about the weather after this thing moves through. Yeah, absolutely. Um, if you are near the screen, make sure you uh, walk over towards it so you can check out what yeah. some of the high tide times are. Let's take this graphic full screen if we can so people can maybe jot this information down. It's going to be available online relatively shortly. As soon as we go back to Jeff, I'll actually run over and uh, get it onto Weather Edge. That's at WXEDGE.com. So here are some of the high tide times coming up tonight. 927 in Groton, that's the first high tide time. And of course, it's going from east over to west. I think the worst tides will be tomorrow morning and tomorrow night. <clears throat> 1045.
tonight in Westbrook. 11.30 the high tide time tonight if you're in Stanford. And tomorrow morning between 9.30 and 11.40 a.m., like Gil said before, the tides are definitely going to be beyond astronomical. You got to remember tomorrow is actually the full moon. So the, tide the tides are already going to be at the astronomical level. Now they're going to be even more. So let's talk about a little bit of forecast specifics for the day today. If you're planning on finalizing any of your preparations, Earlier on in the day today is definitely going to be the best time to do that. As the day moves on, the winds are going to progressively increase. Not expecting to be seeing much in the way of rain for the day today. Just a slight chance for a little bit of shower later on today. We checked out our, uh, our short-term forecast models, and it doesn't look like we're going to be seeing much in the way of rain for the day today. High temps expected to be about 60 degrees across the state. But note the wind, even today, between 15 and 35 miles an hour, and that's out of the northeast. So tonight. The winds are going to be increasing even more. Like I said before, the tide times between 930 tonight and 1130 tonight going from eastern Connecticut to western Connecticut. Low temperatures dropping off in the upper 40s to around 50 degrees and the winds picking up even more 20 to 40 mile an hour winds. That's what we're expecting overnight tonight. And here's the eight day forecast. OK, note uh, the very heavy rain. We're thinking the worst of which we the weather will be Monday afternoon overnight Monday night into Tuesday morning at breakfast time. That's not to say during the day on Tuesday we're not going to have a lot in the way of gusty winds. Definitely going to have a lot of gusty winds, especially along the shoreline. And in inland Connecticut, it's the same sort of deal. I mean, the, the difference between this storm and Irene was we didn't have the tremendous winds for inland Connecticut. Now we're definitely going to be having a lot in the way of winds for inland Connecticut. So that's the uh, eight day forecast. After that finishes, um, we'll have a couple of scattered showers lasting Wednesday into Thursday, but still a lot of gusty winds all the way uh, into Wednesday and Thursday as well.